AJ Rizek here and today we're going to take a look at how to dress up your uh, Windows applications that have been added via Play on Linux or Wine and make them look prettier, more integrated, however you want to say it, uh, with your Linux system. And uh, if you saw my previous video, and I'll throw a link up on here uh, so you can find it uh, in case you haven't seen it, I installed uh, Microsoft Office 2010 on my system uh, just to show you how to do the installation via Play on Linux. So we've got it installed, and let me go ahead and run Microsoft Word so you can take a look at it. And uh, what you'll see wait for it to get moving here is it doesn't look too bad but it doesn't it's not really integrated with the look of um, uh, you know with our system look um, now it's functional you know uh, it just the, the look doesn't match so what we're going to do, we're going to do a run through of different things you can do to alter the appearance of your uh, wine applications, make them look a little more integrated with your system. So, all right, we've got Play on Linux here, and we're going to go to configure, and we're going to make this apply to uh, to Office 2010, and we're already running Wine version 1.7.22, so we don't need to upgrade it to a newer Wine version. What we are going to do is install some components here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install this Microsoft Core Fonts. Okay, and let me check my notes over here. Can't do anything without my notes. always hate it when you lose where you're at. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to add that. We're going to disable crash dialog. We're going to go with font smooth RGB. We're going to install this Luna theme, um, and uh, you know, in a lot of um, newer applications from from uh, Windows, um, it's typically called the Royal theme. Whatever you want to call it, we're going to install that. Okay, so we're going to get that. Keep going, keep going. Ah, there we go. And we're going to add this to Homa. And it looks like that one's got to download, so that might take just a little bit. So I tell you what, rather than just sit here while watching that download, I'm going to pause the video and then uh, uh, we'll come back and uh, take a look at what we've got. Okay, so that finished installing. We're going to come over here to the Wine tab and we're going to click on this Windows Reboot. And it basically, you know, it simulates a reboot of Windows. And you want to give it a minute or so to, for, for the changes to take effect, the stuff that we've just done. And then let's take a look at what we got with. Uh, Microsoft Word now. And generally what I I do is, you know, I'll close that window up and uh, just completely close Play on Linux and then reopen it. You probably don't need to go all that way, but, you know, just because, you know, because I want to. <laughs> anyway, okay. 
So let's click on Run, Microsoft Word. And uh, as you can see, it's already starting to look better. Um, you know, fonts are easier to, uh, to view. Um, you know, actually, with the, with the font smoothing, everything's kind of easier to view now. So, uh, you know, that, that right there, what we've done so far, was already a big help. Now, for most people, what we've done so far probably dresses things up, uh, you know, enough that, uh, you know, you'll be happy with uh, uh, what you've got as far as the look and whatnot. Um, but you can go, you know, one step further on changing the look and appearance. And you're going to do that by, let me go back to this configure go to configure wine and actually if you had installed uh, really any of these applications through wine um, as opposed to play on Linux you, know, you can pull up this configuration and, and do this um, you know without play on Linux but anyway uh, go to I think it's integration yes okay you can see here where we installed that royal theme well, you can go and install other themes as well. You just click on other themes, and you want it needs to have the MS Styles uh, theming. A good place to find these is Deviant Art. And let me go and I'll, I'll pull this over here so you can take a look. Just doing a search for MS Styles, you can see all these different styles that you can download. Um, you know, it may or may not be something to your liking uh, but you know uh, you might find something that you really like now if you are a Ubuntu user let me see if I can find it this one right here this Ubuntu light for Windows XP if you pull that up if you're running Ubuntu um, you know this gives you um, a you know very close simulation to the Ubuntu theme so you would just simply download this file and we'll save it let me get this out of the way and let me open up my file manager here so I think that it needs to be extracted before we can install it uh, downloads. Yep. So we'll go and we'll extract it here. Yep. There it is. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just come over here, install theme, and folder Alex downloads Ubuntu light so to change our theming, we would just need to go and select this light, click apply, and you can see it, I mean, almost instantly changed. Click OK. Let's take a look at what this looks like now. Oh, sorry, got to get out of the configuration part. Now let's run it. As you can see, you get the orange highlights um, like you do with, uh, with, with Ubuntu. It really doesn't change too much on here, um, but that's just that particular theme. As you, you saw from uh, you 
know, let me pull this back. You know, there's lots of themes that you could go and install. So, you know, if you're looking for a particular look, you might find it. Um, or, you know, download a bunch of these, install them, and see what you like. Because the nice thing is, is that you can just then go back to configure. Wine. back to desktop integration change it right back to Royal if that's what you want to stick with boom I mean that's all there is to it so very easy to do that and like I said what we initially did that may have worked for most people and you may be happy with it but you know take a look at some of those themes see if there's something that you like there all right, one more thing that I wanted to cover, and this is more of a question for the, for the viewers out there. There may be some of you that know your way around Play on Linux a little bit better than I do. Um, I'm in no way am I going to claim to be an expert, um, but but here's here's the issue, and you know maybe somebody out there knows the solution to it if you do you know email me send me a message uh, leave a comment below whatever and, and it comes down to launching your various applications and play on Linux obviously you can open up play on Linux and you know select and then and then click on run and and, and run from there now and let me pull this up my num tweak tool now play on Linux does install quick launch icons on your desktop but in the case of of um, you know uh, on gnome you usually have no icons now if I go here to the gnome tweak tool click on icons on desktop you can see yeah there's my installed icons and I could launch from there okay I prefer to have a clean desktop no icons so you know that's why I keep it set this way but in GNOME there seems to be and maybe it's just eluding me there seems to be no way of getting those I either getting those icons over here to to your quick launch bar or to get it to show up in your applications menu or for it to show up in your in your quick launch dash because if you, you know you on gnome you you hit the uh, the super key and you could type in like let's say you wanted to open up cheese webcam so you just start typing cheese well you get that far you end up with chess but you know you get the idea um, You know, you start you start typing, and it finds your various applications for it. You don't get that with any of your Play on Linux applications. Like if I type in Word, uh, no association there. Excel, no. It pulls it pulls up Calc, and you get this right here. And well, let me show you what happens when you click on it. Um, and it, yeah, it. And I and I'm assuming that this is um, that uh, the quick launch that is that is on my desktop that you can't see right now because desktop entry blah 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 blah. Okay. So you know my question for everybody out there: if you know how to get that icon over here or to get um, you know for for the stuff to show up in in my dash I'd love to hear from you that about finishes things up uh, as always thanks a lot for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to keep seeing these videos um, 
give it a big old thumbs up if you like the video. As always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. If you got a solution to my problem, I would love to hear from you. And uh, you know, I'll make another video on uh, if you know how to how to get those icons over into this taskbar over here. I would love to hear from you, and I will put a new video up showing how to do that. Um, anyway. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.